The blood of Jesus is not the color red. Take that out of your mind. That's not what we're talking about. The blood of Jesus is not just the liquid that falls from a man, even though there is a physical expression to that. The blood of Jesus is a summation of the revelation. Watch this now. The revelation behind his becoming sin, who knew no sin, that an unjust man, a just man, took upon himself the cloak of being unjust. Are we together? And that by that, that spiritual law, he died a death he did not deserve. Are we together now? And that the basis of that death he did not deserve was that the man who deserved to die in him can now find liberty. So every time you invoke the blood, what happens in the realm of the spirit is that a memorial is raised. Are we together now? That memorial echoes the fact that an unjust man went through something, I mean a just man, went through something he should not go through. That means no matter the basis of the accusation, because of the liberty that just man has brought, you are free. That is the thing about the blood. You have to understand this. Now, most believers shout the blood of Jesus, but they don't even know what they are saying. Or that just mean the liquid, the red liquid of Jesus, like that thing you transfuse to a patient who is not feeling well. You will never get a miracle that way. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Blood is an instrument of mercy to you, but an instrument of justice before judgment. Most people think the blood is an instrument of judgment. No. It's an instrument of justice. It raises a memorial. The judge himself being God, not Satan. He is the judge of all the earth. So every time the ministry of the blood is invoked, that memorial is raised in the heavens. How that a just man, sinless, became sin, carried the sin of all the people. Are we together? Every accusation brought upon Jesus was false. So that every true accusation upon you, by his verdict, you are also free. So, Satan has a name with respect to the ministry of liberty. He's called the accuser of the brethren. When it has to do with liberty, watch this. He's no longer a thief. Satan is not always a thief. He changes according to what he tries to achieve. When we talk about justice, you have to go to the court the high court, the very court that the judge, at that point, God does not just sit there as creator. He sits there as judge, the judge of all the earth. The accuser of the brethren comes. Are we together? And that he accuses the brethren day and night. What is the accusation? I have a right to oppress this family. The reason is that the grandfather called me through the spirits and the mediums and he said empower our farms in return I will give you all the female children in this family and I have maintained agriculture they have produced all the, you know from their farms I have maintained my own part now a young lady a young guy because he came for koinonia he's asking me to lose my 150 year old grip over that family it does not work that way watch this so if you now come and say, well, I think you must go. No, the system of justice must have a basis. Answer judicial people. Even when they met out judgment, it is not based on sentiments. According to section this, subsection this, this is the penalty that follows such a thing. Are we together? Do you know that in the court of law, now I'm not a judge, but I know this much that in the court of law, you can have the truth, but if you don't know how to communicate it, you will still go to jail. So having the truth is one thing. Knowing how to communicate it in a way that relates to the laws that govern you. Bring forth your strong reasons. Bring forth your strong reasons. Why should Satan take his hands off your life? Because you are tired of him, you are joking. Why should Satan leave your family and your destiny alone? Because you are tired of him. No, sir. 
there is only one basis for the liberty of the believer Christ Jesus and the sacrifice Christ Jesus and the sacrifice if you bring yourself and your righteousness the realm of the spirit reminds you that there are three kinds of sin personal sin territorial sin and sin from bloodline you may be free from personal sin but how about the territory you are part of a territory can sin it is still sin so when you stand before the judge of all the ages the basis of that victory is the speakings of the blood the moment you bring the blood into the equation every accusation doesn't matter how many years doesn't matter every decade because you see listen when God judges he judges based on who he is not based on the situation there when God judges he judges based on his person and the Bible says the Lord is gracious and compassionate you have to understand this he is slow to anger and he's rich in love God does not desire that any man perish this is the character of the judge are we together now the blood leverages on the integrity the very nature of God with respect to what has been done in Christ once you engage the blood watch this now Satan has nothing else to say because the basis of Satan's operation is the fact that a human will was part of that negotiation are we together now somebody agreed Satan you can invade this family and now you are saying he played his own part of the deal gave them whatever they were looking for fame or whatever it is now grandfather is dead now father is dead you have come into Christ and the Bible says those things should not hold on to you again just believing that they will never happen is a joke there are rules of engagement this is what I'm teaching you rule number one is that you must know how to engage the blood someone say the blood one more time say the blood so every time you say the blood of Jesus don't just think liquid are we together now no think justice mercy to you or for you but justice translated as judgment to every other power ah, this is powerful 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 yes Apostle, but your grandfather worshiped idols. Maybe you yourself even worship idols. And the Bible says the soul that sinned, it shall die. It shall die if it does not come to the mercy seat. There is something called the throne of grace. You know one thing with the throne of grace? There is no qualification to get there. Christ is your qualification. The throne of grace does not have any entrance exam you write. You come. That is the throne that you can come as you are. Provided it is when you come that you encounter mercy and you encounter grace to help in time of need. Who is learning now? Look at me. Let me tell you the truth. I got to a point in my life where I took a careful examination of my life, my family tree, the realities that were before me. And I knew that I needed to dismantle a lot of altars. A lot of altars. You've heard my story. As a man of God, I was being oppressed by demons. Not many people will be honest to tell you this. People will just hide and make it look. It's a lie. There's no point hiding. 
vulnerability is not weakness that there was once upon a time and because of the privilege of the prophetic I will be lying down in my room and I will watch the spirits enter it's not I, I'm not talking of is uh, you would see them I shouted Jesus like the Bible said I should shout it and they seem to be unaffected I knew that mm -mm, God has to be true there is something I do not know how could the name of Jesus be so powerless no then I found out that the name was not in the chanting of it the name was not in the pronunciation mm -mm. suffocating to die come on now altars they are real oh. they are you believe me on that they are real they are real i know some of the healthiest people in the world they 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 are meticulous about anything but they hit a certain age bam and suddenly they will tell you it looks like there's some pain somewhere and they tell you cancer or they tell you some prostate or they tell you one demonic something you're lying down one day you just collapse and as healthy as you are you take orange every day banana every day they still say you have low blood pressure what was you take then there are people who stop eating rice 10 years ago they're still sick they stop eating cassava. They stop eating yam. I'm not saying, I'm not giving you a medical advice. I'm just saying, what is left? What is left? No rice, no yam, no eggs, no plantain, no cabbage, no nothing, no liquids. Whether you are fasting or not, these programmings have vowed that you must die. What you need is the blood. The blood. The blood. That father I come to you by the blood not in my righteousness that every demonic installation that predated my existence the Bible tells me I can bring forth my strong reason and I come to the judge of all the earth I come to the judge of all the earth I come before the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things hitherto these altars have been speaking negative things over my life over my family but I come by the blood and I invoke the blood the blood upon altars it doesn't matter what programming I, it, it may not be your fault it's not a cause to come from the family you came from but you need to do something about it now before it tears your life into pieces let me tell you the truth please look up one of the biggest challenges with the church is that we are not entirely honest with ourselves. We are more conscious of our reputation than dealing with what needs to be dealt with. So there are many people who have all kinds of troubles, sicknesses they are hiding, troubles that they should deal with it and we just carry this fascia of things working well. Victory is real. There's no point faking it. If it is not working, take responsibility and iron it out in righteousness. Someone said the blood. Yes, sir. The blood. Because for some of you, based on the description, you are supposed to be the next physical priest right now as a medium to carry that thing. Based on the description, whether you know it or not. And there are some of you, there's this demonic thing 
Now, uh, do I go into these things? Hallelujah. That you engage the blood. You engage the blood. You engage the blood. That by the blood of the eternal covenant. My grandfathers may have made their choice. My great grandfathers may have made their choice. But this man. I have decided as an act of my will. Listen. 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 Now please listen. Listen. I want to teach you how to do it. And I want you to listen to me. In establishing your case before the court of heaven, there are two bases, only two. I want you to please listen. Number one, the first basis for establishing your victory is what Christ has done. What Christ has done. The blood that was shed upon the cross, the victory that is in Christ, the sufferings of Christ, the substitutionary sacrifice. There you go with the word again. If you ever approach the realm of the spirit. Advocating liberty from the negative speakings of altars. And it is just based on your fasting. Or based on your prayer. I'm not saying those things are wrong. Or based on church attendance. Any other basis outside of the sacrifice of Christ. Is not valid enough. The parliament of heaven was only designed to honor the sacrifice of Christ. And whoever becomes a beneficiary of it through Christ. The second basis is the power of the will. I'm teaching you the rules of engagement now. The power of the will. This becomes the basis of your making a defense before God. That God gave everybody the power to choose. So what is happening in my life is not a reflection of my choices. And God is bound by his integrity to give me a chance to make my own choice. Who is understanding this now? So that believers must have spiritual intelligence. You don't just say, God, I'm tired of this trouble. You are in heaven. You are watching all of this. Do you want the devil to kill me before you are happy? You All that lamentation does not lead to victory there are two bases this is how to approach the judge of all the earth god is father abba Bata. but when you are advocating liberty you are approaching your father who is the judge and you must know how to speak the language of the court of heaven the basis for victory number one the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus the blood that speaks better things the blood that has annulled everything calling you out from every tribe and every tongue and every nation. Lord, it is true that I am Yoruba. It is true that I am Hausa. It is true that I am Igbo. But when I came into Christ, I was grafted into a new kingdom. And it becomes unfair for me to be a victim of the foundational limitations that came with my natural descent. Are we together? The first birth, I didn't have the power to choose. So now in Christ, the second birth is by choice. The first birth you appeared. Who is understanding this now? You are speaking the language of justice. So in addition to the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ, the Bible says, I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. But these spirits are not giving a room for me to choose. Because it looks like the oppression vetoes my will. Therefore, God has to come in and give me a chance. If I use my own will and I choose destruction, then that becomes my lot. But until then, everyone on earth by God is given an opportunity, even if based on the law of time and chance. The blood, the blood, the blood. I am no longer interested in serving the idols that were served before me. I am no longer interested in that discussion that happened across the table. Did you hear what I said? I am no longer interested because I'm a child of God. Because I'm a child of God. And because Satan is a stubborn spirit. He's not just going to say, ah, okay, I've had you. Mm -mm, it's not like that, oh. It's not like that. So, the blood, number one. Let's finish up. I'm showing you how 
to dismantle demonic altars. You will break the hold of demonic speakings by engaging the blood. The basis for that is the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. Did I speak about repentance? Yes. Part of breaking demonic strongholds is to also repent on behalf of yourself and on behalf of those connected to you. Without repentance, the blood cannot speak. I hope you know that. The blood does not speak indefinitely. The blood does not speak arbitrarily. The blood is sponsored by a broken heart. The activation of the power that is contained in the blood is sponsored by a broken and a contrite heart. Father, I come before you admitting that my grandfather buried 30 virgins, buried 20 children. I admit the fact he may have gone. But in the name of Jesus, the Bible declares that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us. I come in genuine repentance as one who has obtained mercy in Christ. And upon that ground, even the finished work of Christ, I advocate mercy over the legal speakings. You see that? Our time is up, but spare me five minutes. Let's do some prayer. Please rise up on your feet. Ratina has come I'll give you three quick prayer points. Prayer point number one. Father, if there is any legal basis upon which Satan will lay claim on my life, I advocate the blood right now. Please go ahead and pray. If there is any legal basis, if there is any legal basis, the psalmist said, if I cherish iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not hear me. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus. Take a minute to pray. Every legal basis. The sin of commission, the sin of omission. I obtain mercy by God. I obtain mercy by God. Sins of bloodline. I obtain mercy by God. Territorial sins. I obtain mercy from God. Open your mouth and pray with humility and brokenness. One minute. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to begin to take authority in one minute. As simple as what I'm saying is I'm releasing my faith with you. That every speakings of every altar that is not of the Christ, in the name of Jesus, be silenced by the blood. Go ahead. Be silenced by the blood. Be silenced by the blood. Go ahead. Pray. Pray. Don't trivialize the simplicity of spiritual intelligence. Pray. Every ill speakings, powered by demonic altars, Advocating defeat, advocating delays, advocating untimely death, advocating poverty, advocating closed doors by the blood of the eternal covenant. I come against you. I dismantle those altars. Someone pray. I come against you. I dismantle those altars by the blood of the eternal covenant. I come against you. I dismantle those altars. Shaba like a parata, prakatos kateba like a Attracting tragedies to my life. Attracting wicked men to my life. From one destruction to another. From one trouble to another. Rate like a paratos kofreke paratos kebriata kata prosigetesh. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you're going to cry for grace to engage this covenant of sacrifice. Lord, grace to follow you wholly. Grace to commit to a life of prayer consistently. And grace to dedicate my time, energy and resources to serve you. Go ahead and pray. Grace. Obtain that grace. 
obtain that grace 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 sapela kaparanta kapera ko sevra gete bele ke pa shai gana malanta fraska bina katosi ya kefretis keti obtain that grace in the name of jesus obtain that grace grace to follow the lord holy grace to follow the lord holy follow the lord holy grace to commit to a life of prayer speaking realities daily rewriting stories daily declaring my will daily making my contributions to the manifestations of God's word in my life daily obtain the giving grace the grace to give God your time the grace to give God your energy the grace to give God your resources not by manipulation by revelation In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.